Good morning, everyone. Uh, we are back again. It's been a minute, I apologize. Everything just takes so long to uh, get done from the machine shop, so we are done uh, with the machine shop. So now it's just up to uh, me to put it all back together. Let me show you what I got going on, and then uh, you'll kind of see what the plan is. So let me show you real quick and we'll go from there. All right, guys, as previous, our block is done. We did that last time. Uh, the block is already set. I apologize for the noise, but it's cold. It's the Midwest. Uh, so yeah, the block for the most part is done. Our head is back from the machine shop. I took uh, took everything apart and except the uh, the keepers, the valves, everything else, the valve springs, everything is still in there right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and now that it's back from the machine shop, clean all the threads uh, inside the uh, the head to make sure that everything sits as it should, everything's clean up, there's no gunk in there that's gonna stop the torque specs from being wrong. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go do this real quick. I have everything for the most part soaking right there with oil. And then I'll show you over here what I got going on over here. I have the... Uh, the cams and the cam caps in the correct order so I know how to put it all back together. Each cap is specific to each actual head cap so make sure that when you take one off of here you put it back in the same place. These cannot, they're machined to go in there properly so please do not uh, you know take one put it over here whatever the case is it, it will not work correctly that way uh, so make sure you put everything back together as it should um so yeah here's what we got going on here just a bunch of parts that we got to put back together more parts we got to put back together uh but yeah we're gonna get started right now recleaning the head it's already pretty clean but i want to make sure i clean the threads off and uh once we're done cleaning everything off we're gonna prep it and then we're gonna get ready to install everything so all right guys now we're gonna start cleaning the head with some brake clean or something that you got, car clean or whatever it is, to clean all the ports, clean everything out really, really good to make sure that our surface is as clean as possible and there won't be any issues torquing anything down. It won't throw anything off, everything is as it should be. And then for the uh, cam caps, I'm using an M6 by one. Uh, this is a thread chaser. You can use a tap, but I'm just gonna use a thread chaser. I have both, but Taps may be a little bit aggressive, but unless if you have a bad, shitty thread, then obviously use a tap. But I'm going to use a thread chaser, uh, and I'm going to be going through every port hole, clean everything else out, and it'll be super, super clean. Uh, not saying the machine chef didn't do their part, but you always want to just double check somebody else's work to make sure that everything is in order. So I'm going to start doing that. I'll put a time lapse on it, and then you'll kind of get an idea what I got going on. Later. All right, boys. The head is all prepped, all cleaned up. We thread chase everything. We have we thread chase the bigger bolts too. I think that's a M8 by 1.25. Let's see if I can get a good picture of it. M8 by 1.25. Yeah, M8 by 1.25. So we also. Like I said, we thread chase the big ones, we thread chase the small ones, everything is cleaned up. We have our block ready. Now we're gonna start putting our head gasket, which we got from, where's it at, where's it at, where's it at? Oh, it's over here. Which we got from Modern, it is a Mopar head gasket, I believe in the good quality stuff.
Okay, Mopar head gasket is here. We're about to install it right now, and then we will get started on putting that big boy into that big boy. One more thing, guys. We are using the ARP head studs on here. I, ve I very strongly recommend of cleaning these out with like soap and water, brake clean, just to make sure everything is cleaned up from just for the factory, uh, not the factory, but when, yes, the factory, when they uh, drop ship into your house. Same thing with the washers, same thing with the heads. Uh, you can use this stuff, which well, it's recommended to use this stuff, but you know, I bought this a long time ago because I got excited, so it's the same shit. So we're going to clean everything up and then we're going to start installing the heads and then put some of the, uh, put some of the ultra, ultra torque ARP lube here, just so that when you thread it down, it's threaded in nice and easy. So, but I'll take you over there in a step here, just a second. Alright guys, now we're to the point of putting our lubed up head studs into the block um, and then we can put on a head gasket and then we can put on the head, but let's do one thing at a time. So we're going to put on our ultra torque around here a little bit with a brush and then just start putting them down. You can also use, uh, snug them down just a bit. I have an, uh, an Allen style. It is a... 3 16 head that you can get into the Allen style right here. Just snug it down if you need to. Now that your studs are in place everything is clean now you can actually put your head gasket on when you put your head gasket on make sure that the part numbers are facing which for the Mopar ones are right there on the top left make sure that the numbers are facing up so you don't put on the head gasket wrong which in this case I don't think you really can but just for safety reasons just make sure that you put the part numbers facing up it will say 2.4 liter facing up Okay, now we are going to install the head. The head itself is clean. Now we're going to install it to the studs. Okay. Perfect. All right, guys, now that our head is installed in our block and our studs are sticking out, the air piece studs are sticking out right there. You know, right in there. Now we're going to put a little bit of lube on the head of the stud so that when we start torquing it down and put thing is people don't realize this let me get something here when you put the ultra lube put it on the threads Let's see if I can get a good view put it on the threads of the stud and then put it on the base right here because the ultra lube is going to help it from having a full blown metal to metal contact so when you put the ultra lube put some ultra lube on the bottom of the a uh, washer and put it in the bottom base of where the stud's going to be at just so that we, like i said we want to put it on the on the stud head right here but then put it on the bottom right there man just to make sure it's not a metal metal contact and it won't affect torque settings or nothing all right guys i put a little light up there just to kind of show you what my plan is but essentially i'm going to start putting the the washers let me get it see where the fuck i'm at i'm going to start putting the washers and the bolts the head bolts but I'm gonna start when I'm gonna lube the crap out of the bottom part, throw it in there, and then lube the uh, the thread, and then just start snugging it down. You're not torquing anything just yet, so I'm gonna put it on a time lapse so you guys know what I'm talking about. And we're gonna start putting this stuff back together. Sends you this um, torque 
sequence sheet, but it does say to just to follow the manufacturer settings, so that's what we're gonna do. But this is an example what the torque setting is gonna be and how to plan it down. But I will explain the torque settings uh, as we go along. So, okay, so we're gonna do four, four uh, torque sequences to, to basically set the head in its place and set it down correctly. So we're gonna start with, um, let's see here, what does it say? We gotta do first all to 35 foot pounds. And we start with bolt one, which is right here. 35 foot pounds. Number two, 25. Number three. Number three. 25. Number four. Twenty-five. Number five is across from one. Okay. Six. Okay. Number seven. Okay, first sequence is done. Number two is 50 foot pounds. Again, 50 foot pounds. Third sequence is done. Fourth, now we're gonna turn all bar, turn all bolts an additional quarter turn. And if you have a degree um, torque wrench, uh, you can set it at 45. Head is torqued down. All right, guys. So our head bolts are installed. Now ARP says that uh, with all the torque settings, it should be at like 85 foot pounds, which I'm assuming why that quarter turn left here, what the quarter turn is for to set it up to 85. So, but uh, the head is installed. So now we're gonna, the next video, we're gonna start to do the, uh, how to, Get the cams in, get the cam caps in, torque that in. So we're gonna try to do it in a couple of videos just so it's I wanna make it long enough for you guys to know how this thing works, but you know, at least kind of get the gist of what we're trying to do here. So uh y'all yeah, get the other video going here in a minute, but just don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I'm glad that I'm back. I'm glad that we're doing this again. I miss doing this, I miss working on the car, and we're well, I want to say that it's close, but we're close to getting the engine back in the car. So stay tuned for some more stuff, guys. I appreciate everything. Um, I got a couple comments about the torque set, the, like the, the, the sheets I get from here. So if you go on the first video of the engine rebuild, the, like the entire factory service manager is gonna be there, linked to there. Go to there, you can print these out, you can just go on the internet, you have everything, torque specs to everything on there, which is what I use. So, uh, hope that helps you guys out. I know I had a lot of questions about that in social media on our stage racing Instagram and then on YouTube. So, look it up. So, thank you guys for everything and see you in the next one.